Bodacious dudes, uh, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2. Sha. Sure. We uh, are in the middle of some craziness, and it's really good. Now for the other cool circus level, which is a race. It is quite unique in that uh, the goal is to... Well, you don't have to get first, but you should get first if you're trying to beat this damn game the right way. So while I'm here, I should get the one secret, which is up here. Yeah, like, you have to have one secret, at least. So let's make it happen. That's them all. Interesting lie, because you don't actually destroy them all. You have to kill these guys, but... Since, you know, I'm not fast enough to kill all of them. If you kill enough of them, it'll work. And that just happened to be enough. How about that? Let's start properly. Three, two, one. Okay, back up. There you go, now you get a speed boost. Watch as I win in style. So he dropped a banana. He also dropped a banana. Each one drops something. Okay, that's also a banana. There's some good rewards there, I promise. Okay, that one might have been another banana, but I guess we'll never know. Let's see what's next. Banana bunch. Okay, it might have been a banana bunch before then. Nothing to worry about. It's another banana bunch. Yeah, you kind of have to really focus on the screen when this is going on. Ooh, he dropped an N. Now we're getting fancy with our rewards. Ooh, he, dro he dropped the banana coin. Okay. So how about first place? What's first place gonna drop, you think? That's right, a DK coin! Woo! Pretty good, you gotta say. You know what the best thing about this is? I did it all in one shot. Yay! Feels good. And that's it. It's quick, but it's supposed to be quick, because it's a race. Let's get out of here. Racing games for the future in this channel? I don't know yet. I mean, it could. Certainly something I thought about. It's just, um... I need a lot more unique title screens for all the race hacks. Uh, no. Because I haven't gone up to his face yet, but, alright. I, I suppose. I don't think I heard him say this yet. Oh, isn't that nice? He slightly cares. Eh. Also, what would it, I guess this would be like a gift shop. Screw you, man. I like that spider. Screw you. It's like back in the old days when they rode an ostrich. And I played Joust. Third rate stand frames? Okay. Wait a minute. You're not supposed to repeat lines in one session. I don't think so, buddy. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not in awe of appreciation, but okay. I appreciate you. You want to note with that? Yeah. Took care of that already. I think is what led to the DK coin. Yes, we will address that. And for th as for this hint. Yeah, this is the hint you get that you can just jump through it. Now you know. Yeah, this is how I knew I had to follow someone. There you go. Alright, the other hint for Rambi Rumble. This is important. Yeah. Right at the end. Just before you're about to end the level. And another hint. Yep. This will hint you that there's a second bonus far up, so... That's probably... I don't know if that's worth the three coins. I don't get the pricing on these. I mean, it's interesting. You know, back when I couldn't really have the internet, and it's just like, wow, I unlocked text. We make most of it. Let's go to Swanky's. Since we went from gift shop, and now we're at, like, I don't know. What do you do for a living? Video game heroes? Wow. That is amazing. Hey audience, let's play 
Wrinkly Swinner. That is not a good title of a game. Oh man, Looney Goonland. I think that's parts of the internet I'm not familiar with too much. What color is your parrot, buddy? Well, uh, I checked. He's red, green, yellow. Don't worry, it's all good. Jesus, you dare speak the name of our gods? That's blaspheming. Crazy quiz. All right, what was that level I did in the last episode? That's right, Wasp Hive Horror. Next one. Well, you know, you gave her name away in the first title of the game. Whatever, man. You must take me for a sap. Which one of these items cannot be found at Clubbus Kiosk? Okay, good question. Yes. That's right, it's a picture of K. Rule because, uh, newsflash, he doesn't actually like him. This is an important plot point, actually. Baboon Booty. What is your snake buddy's name? It's Rattly. Let's check the other names. Hisa and Slithers. Mr. Slithers. What color waistcoat does old man crank? I was just there! I have it fresh in my mind, it's green. My goodness, man. It could not have been any easier. Which of these enemies have you have yet to see? Well, in terms of the gameplay. It's the Cat and Nine Tails. It's it's a literal visual pun of an enemy that does what an actual Cat and Nine Tails does. It's a vicious weapon, by the way. <laughs> it's like why would you, why would you design something like that? I don't know, I was having a bad day that day. What does that mean? Alright, time for Butthole Marsh. As you do. Yeah, I just like that we have a swamp level outside the swamp zone. Oh yeah, this level's a bitch. Okay, so, banana coin. Hmm, my swamp is feeling a little purple today, but I mean, it just said more. Like, this feels the most out of place for this world, actually. In between the honey hives? I mean, man. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a few Donkey Kong Country 2 hacks I think I'd like to take a racket at. I think I could do it. It's just one is really glitched, the other one might be too hard. We'll see. I'm certainly thinking about it. I mean, Donkey Kong Country 2 hacks are like... You know, it's like when you get like a brand new fucking car. It doesn't happen often enough, but you wish it did. Alright, we're gonna go down here on these hooks, some hook platforming for Monsieur Hook. Okay, up there above that banana is invincibility. I will prove it right now. Ta-da! Cool, right? Alright, we got our O. The mini neckies are dying in droves. I like saying droves. Work with me here. One barrel to another barrel. Okay, I'm just... I'm doing much better at dodging his cat nine tails. Just let him fall off. Screw them. Collect the stars. Okay. Number star backwards is rats. All right. So in case you don't have the other one, like if you somehow gotten this bonus without your partner, kudos because that means you took a ride on the cat and nine tails. But if you end up here without it, that DK barrel will help you do this bonus. So there you go. Next. We'd have a treasure chest. Again. Again with a DK barrel, my goodness. Magoot cheese. Ah, Mr. Uh, Cannon's here. Oh yeah, I think Cannon's like the cousin of Clump. And I also think this might be the... This might sprite might be the basis of Captain Scurvy in the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. Fun facts. I put a crate in my hair, screw you man. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm a blue cat. It's so depressing. I think that might be the last unique regular enemy in the game, incidentally. So, you've pretty much seen what this game has to offer by now. Surely! Okay. We throw the ball on the bee. Guess what? 
I can keep taking it with me, but just in case I couldn't, I have this partner to thank, at least for killing... What the fuck was that sound? I know that was the game, but I don't know what happened. Oh well. Let's keep going. Three beetles for the price of three. Okay, nice. It's shaped like itself. I don't just shed a lampshade, I show you the whole fucking thing. At once. Without irony. It's blinding, I know. That treasure is bullshit. Why'd I even have that? Get out of here. Alright, we're gonna wait for the barrels to come over and... Hitch a ride! Neat. Alright, so... This is the first one of two levels that does this, but... This gold post has a DK coin. So I'm gonna have to time it very carefully in order to get my damn prize. Also, the second time I have to do it is much harder. But luckily, that that one was uh, the speed on that one's consistent enough. It's all right. And further down the marsh, we have another kiosk. Kiosk control. Kiosk Swiss roll. Okay, I'm gonna try to cross without paying. I know you like money and all, but maybe you have standards. Hey, you're not tough enough to get into the salty spittoon. Get out of here. Damn it. Let's go to Rambi Rumble. Let's get ready to rumble! Alright. It really is aptly named. I promise you. And as it would imply, we're going to be doing our second transformation in the game, which is that of Rambi the Rhino. We get another transformation next world, too. Don't you, don't you fret, my friends. Okay, not really much of a palette swap on this level. Maybe it's slightly reddish? I couldn't tell you. It's not too important, but... I was thinking of ROM hacks that have different palettes for this thing, and they look really fucking cool and, uh, cosmic. Those are my favorite kind of levels, where it's just like, what is this place? It, it like, it's, it's a coherent look, but it doesn't make sense of where it is. There's a few DOS games I'd like to show you that are like that. It's exactly the kind of shit I'm into. Between that and, you know, dark and edgy stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I thought I, there was something up there. There isn't. Oh no, not the tampon! Ah! I... You know, that kind of stuff doesn't actually worry me. And it seems like it does, because it's just like, Hey! You can't talk about those things! He's a guy! It's like, I mean, yes, but... I don't know. It's really not that shocking to me. Alright, we're gonna go up the honey... Honeycomb Havoc! Wait, no, don't think about that minigame from Mario Party 2. That's bad. It's like pickup sticks, only you're going to murder your friends after you're done. Ooh, Invisahook! My favorite! I love Invisahook. Oh, that's a secret. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's a bonus. Little difference, but yeah, I guess I can call that a secret. Why not? Getting my terms mixed up. Oh my god, do you know how to climb this wall like last time? Shit. What a pointless bonus. I'm not impressed. Let's continue. Uh, alright. The sword man is in the honey hive. So there really is like some trade deal going on here. I didn't notice any crumblings in the last honey hive. Oh, wait. No, there was crooks, weren't there? Okay, never mind. So they must have some trade going on. All right. He says to go over. And that's what I'm doing. Just so I can have this DK going. I wouldn't be able to proceed without the transformation. So let's go in here into this little room. Inside. Now you are... Now you are Republican in name only. Fuck you for that joke. Thanks. Bees. Huh. Ow. I 
can't believe you hurt me. I'm invincible. Here we are, into the bees. Yes, I can do the dino thing too. It's just weirder. Dinos aren't that weird in video games as the, as rhinos are. So yeah, the the boss of this world is following me. I better hurry my ass. Yes, the red zingers allow for infinite jumps. This is the wall they were talking about. Let's go in. Whoosh. Also, that is unique music. Don't try changing it in the randomizer, or you're in for a bad time. Just be careful. Uh, this one's easy too, but it's more cathartic because I get to like mow down bodybuilders with the with a rhinoceros. By the way, if you run into a rhinoceros and you're a bodybuilder, you're not going to survive. So don't do that. Don't bodybuild in front of the rhinoceros. It upsets him. <coughs> okay. There's no coin, so G it is. Do I even need this? I don't even have the other letters for this G. Guess I'm an Nguyen right now. Damn it. Spider sting! I mean bee stings! It's a giant bee! This giant bee battle is more fun than the other one, though. Also, for this fight, you shall transform into squawks! Hell yeah! And this coin is just there, so... Yeah, you can't go back in. Alright, the key is to spit eggs onto the stinger. Can you do that? Yes. And then you gotta dodge the uh, or stinger things coming out like this. There's actually a boss in... This reminds me of in Donkey Kong Country 3, actually. It has nothing to do with these. You might know what I'm talking about. Okay. Again. No shot. Oh god, don't try to hit it again while well, it's still red. It is angry. Alright. Again, no palette swap for the boss. Even though it seems like it's reddish. Now he's transformed into a normal zinger with four protective zingers I have to shoot before he's vulnerable. If you don't get rid of him fast enough, they'll respawn. It's kind of hilarious just fighting a normal ass zinger. And now he's dead. Someone told me that was... People are telling me this was difficult. No? <laughs> I'm not even saying in a mocking fashion. I'm saying that it really doesn't seem that bad. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't perceive how others fail at things like this, so... Next time we'll be going to Gloomy Gulch. It's a... It's the horror ghost town of the game with woods. So that should be fun.